If a tree falls in the woods and no one's around to hear it, does the tree make a sound? In the case of the tree, the answer is yes, and here's why. In 1965, a group of loggers discovered this giant. One of a kind mahogany stood tall in the Honduran rainforest. After attempting to cut it down, the tree fell backwards into a ravine, but it was later rediscovered by a timber expert who called it the prettiest wood he had ever seen. Initially, the wood was purchased by furniture experts. But over time, pioneering guitar makers started using it in their work, and the result was sheer perfection. Soon, A-list guitarists started clamoring for an instrument made from the tree, and the legend of the unique tonewood was born. According to ancient Japanese legends, anyone who manages to fold exactly 1,000 origami cranes will be granted a wish by the gods. This story was popularized from the sad tale of Sadako Sasaki, a Japanese girl who was diagnosed with leukemia after being exposed to radiation from the atomic bombing of Hiroshima. Inspired by the ancient legend, she began making origami cranes with the goal of reaching 1,000. Unfortunately, Sadako didn't recover, although her family say she exceeded her goal, having folded approximately 1,400 paper cranes. Today, a statue of Sadako holding a crane can be seen in the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park. Every year on Oban Day, people leave cranes at the statue to honor the spirits of their departed relatives. In Bram Stoker's gothic horror novel Dracula, Abraham Van Helsing is a Dutch doctor, a vampire hunter and Count Dracula's archenemy. To call this character an overachiever would be an understatement. Not only is he an expert in medicines, both modern and ancient, he's also a fountain of knowledge in religion and the supernatural. At one point, he even lets on that he has a law degree. But as well as being a brainiac, Van Helsing is the novel's most memorable character, he's eccentric, He's funny and he speaks with a distinctly Dutch accent that sets him apart from the rest of the native English-speaking vampire hunting crew. It's rumored that the character of Van Helsing was based on Stoker himself, Bram is, after all, short for Abraham. Notice the imagery on the Ace of Cups card, a hand coming from the clouds, holding out a cup. That's God offering you a beer in the bar of life. Drink up. Okay, it's not God. And it's not a beer. It's sparkling water so pure that drinking it will bring you emotional fulfillment, harmony, and happiness. So, kind of like a beer, but better. As the first in the suit of cups, mystics say this card signifies beginnings in your social and emotional world. So, if this card comes up in a reading, you can look forward to a new friendship, family connection, or even a budding romance. Hey, we told you the fizzy water was good. Behold Aconcagua, the tallest mountain in the Americas and the highest point in the Western Hemisphere. Situated in Mendoza Province in Argentina, Aconcagua has two summits, north and south, connected by a ridge. Between 1896 and 1897, a European expedition led by British mountaineer Edward Fitzgerald tried and failed to reach the summit eight times. Finally, on January 14th, the Swiss guide Matthias Zerbrigen stood on the summit of Aconcagua. As far as he knew, it was the highest point a man had ever been. But he stood there alone, as Fitzgerald had been forced to stop due to altitude sickness at 6,000 m. With a summit elevation of 6,961 m above sea level, Aconcagua does make for a difficult climb, but that doesn't stop around 3,500 climbers from attempting it each year. A highly worshipped and revered god in both Roman and Greek society, and with good reason, Aesculapius.
or Asclepius for the ancient Greeks out there, was said to cure illnesses and heal injuries. He was even vested with the unique ability to rise from the dead. Who wouldn't pray to a god like that? Mythical sagas say Asclepius was the son of Apollo and the mentee of Chiron, and he became known for his skills in surgery, medicine, and healing. Given his powers, it's not hard to see why the Romans wanted this god in their own pantheon. During an outbreak of the plague in 291 BCE, the Romans built a temple in Aesculapius' honor on an islet in the Tiber. Today, the rod of Asclepius, a snake-entwined staff, remains a symbol of medicine across the world. Thanks to her exceptional talent, English detective novelist and playwright Agatha Christie Fast became one of the world's top-selling authors with works like Murder, On the Orient Express and Death on the Nile. At the time of her death in 1976, she was the best-selling novelist in history. Although it's thought that one particular novel penned by Agatha Christie may have inspired a murderer in his methods, it's nice to know that her work saved lives, too. In her famous novel, The Pale Horse, Christie described the symptoms of thallium poisoning so well that a nurse who read the book recognized the symptoms in a baby and was able to save it from certain death. If you thought DIY was time-consuming, try building a royal palace. Judging by the Alcazar of Seville, you'll need at least 500 years. Featuring in Game of Thrones and Lawrence of Arabia, the Alcazar of Seville is Europe's oldest royal palace still in use. And that's a relief, given how long it takes to construct. Also known as the Royal Alcazar, this feat of construction was once the site of a Roman settlement. Later, it became a fortress for Muslim authorities. But with the start of the Christian era in Seville, the Alcazar was converted into the residence of the Christian monarchs. Naturally, a lot changed in the 500 years that followed. That's why the Alcazar of Seville combines elements of Muslim, Gothic, Renaissance, Baroque, and Romantic art. Like its cousin the Llama, the alpaca was domesticated over 6,000 years ago by the Incas, who reared them for their perfect coats. Stronger than mohair, warmer than duck down, silky to the touch and non-flammable, this creature arguably has the best fleece of the animal kingdom in ancient times, it was even known as the fiber of the gods. Besides their fur, alpacas make very good pets, just be warned, they're pack animals, so you'll need more than one. Originally from the Andes mountains of Peru, Bolivia, Ecuador, and Chile, alpacas have been exported around the world. Today, you'll find large populations of these creatures in the US, Canada, New Zealand, Thailand, and the Netherlands. This calls for a round-the-world trip, alpaca my bags. Japanese folklore is full of fantastical stories, but perhaps one of the strangest is the tale of Amaterasu and Tsukuyami. According to mythology, Amaterasu is the goddess of the sun. Along with her siblings, the moon deity Tsukuyami and the storm god Susanoo, she is one of the three precious children. The most important offspring of the god is Anaji. One day, Amaterasu ordered Tsukuyami to go down to the terrestrial world and visit the goddess of food, Yukamochi. But when Yukamochi vomited up some food and presented it at a banquet, Tsukuyami was disgusted and killed her. This upset Amaterasu, so she split away from Tsukuyami, causing the separation of day and night. Next time darkness falls at your window, think of Yukimochi's vomit and be thankful.